Today our topic is coliform bacteria. What are coliforms? They are the bacteria that are always present in the digestive tract of animals including the humans and are found in their base. They are also found in plant and the soil material. Indicated organisms. Water pollution caused by the fecal contamination. This is a serious problem due to the potential for contracting the diseases from pathogen. This is causing mechanism. Frequently, concentration of a pathogen from the fecal contamination is small, and the number of different possible pathogens is large. As a result, it is not practical to test for the pathogen in every water sample collected. Instead, the presence of pathogen is determined with the indirect evidence by testing for an indicator organism such as coliform bacteria. They come from the same resources as the pathogenic organism. Coliforms are relatively easy to identify. They are usually present in the large numbers other than the dangerous pathogen. They all respond to the environment, wastewater treatment, and the water treatment similarly to many pathogen. As a result, the testing for the coliform bacteria can be reasonable indicator of whether the other pathogenic bacteria are present. Total coliform, fecal coliform, and the E. coli. The most basic test for the bacteria contamination of the water supply is the test for the total coliform bacteria. The total coliform counts give a general indication of the sanitary conditions of the water supply. Total coliform. This includes the bacteria that are found in the soil, in water, and have been influenced by the surface water and in the human and animal taste. Fecal coliform. They are the group of the total coliforms that are considered to be the present specifically in the gut and the pieces of the warm blooded animal because the organs of the fecal coliform are more specific than the organs of the more general total coliform group of bacteria. The fecal coliforms are considered as the more accurate mm-hmm. indication of the animal or the human breast than the total coliforms. Econia coli. This is the major species in the fecal coliform group. One of the five general groups of the bacteria that comprise the total coliforms. One the E. coli is generally not found growing and reproducing in the environment. Consequently, the E. coli is considered to be the species of the coliform bacteria that is the best indicator of the fecal pollution and the possible presence of pathogens. Other coliform bacteria are harmful. Most coliform bacteria do not cause the disease. However, some have strains of E. coli, particularly the strain of O0157. H7 can cause a serious illness. These and conflicts of the disease caused by E. coli 0157 H7 have generated much public concern about the organism. E. coli has been found in the cattle, chicken, pig, and sheep. Most of the reported human cases have been due to the eating and the cooked hamburger. This is a E. coli H7 caused by the contaminated drinking water supplies. They are the coliform testing. Testing for the bacteria is the only reliable way to know if the water is safe. You cannot tell by the look, taste or smell of the water if the disease causing organism or in it. The New York State Department of the Health recommends that well owners test the water for the coliform bacteria at least once a year. If you have experienced a bacteria problem in the past, it is recommended that you test your well more frequently. When should I test? Late spring or early summer are the best time to test your well since your coliform contamination is most likely to show you show up the, during the wet weather whether your test results are the positive or the negative. Understand that the sample you have collected is just a snapshot of your well's water quality. The more samples you have tested, the more confident you can be about the quality of the water you are drinking. What do the results mean? If coliform bacteria are present in your drinking water, your risk of contracting a waterborne illness is increased. Although total coliforms can come from the sources other than the fecal matter. A positive total coliform sample should be considered an indication of the pollution in your well. Positive fecal coliform results, especially the positive E. coli results, should be considered the indication of the fecal pollution in your well. What should be done if the coliform bacteria are detected in the well? When the coliforms have been detected, repairs or the modification of the water system may be required. While in the water is advised until the disinfection and the retesting can confirm that the contamination has been eliminated. A defective well is often the cause when the coliform bacteria are found in the well water. What, what kind of uh, detects can water contamination show? A missing or the defective well cap sealing around the wires, pipes and uh, where the cap meets the casing can be tracked. 
lighting in the contaminants. The contaminants seepage through the well casing the cracks or holes in the well into the well. This seepage is common in the well made up of the concrete, clay title or brick. Contaminants seeping along the outside of the well casing. Many older wells were not sealed with the grout when they were constructed. Well flooding is a common problem for the well heads located below the ground in frost space are frequently flood during the wet weather. Long term options are for dealing with the bacteria contamination of a well. Connecting to the region of public water system if possible. Inspecting the wells for the defects and repairing them if possible. Constructing a new well. Installing the continuous disinfection equipment. Using the bottled water for the drinking and the food preparation. Thank you.